the problem with starting a diesel engine usually increases gradually. If difficulties with starting are associated with a drop in temperature outside, then you should urgently look for a malfunction. They heat the air in the combustion chambers so that after the air is compressed by the movement of the piston, the temperature quickly reaches a level sufficient to ignite the mixture. In earlier engine designs, starting is carried out in two stages. First the ignition is turned on. At the same time, the glow plugs are activated. Before turning the starter, you must wait until the heating indicator goes out. This usually takes 20 to 30 seconds. In newer diesel engines, the air in the combustion chambers is preheated much faster, and the engine is ready to start almost immediately. Moreover, after starting the candles, as a rule, they still work for some time. However, in cold weather, even modern candles take a few seconds to warm up. Therefore, do not rush to turn the starter. When the glow plugs fail, the engine is still able to start. But after starting it, it may shake for a few minutes, make a lot of noise and smoke. If you try to get going, it turns out that the diesel engine does not have enough traction. In older diesel engines, it was possible to independently check the operation of the glow plugs, provided that you had access to them. The spark plug had to be unscrewed and connected to 12V. In most new cars, removing spark plugs is difficult, and connecting to 12V is destructive. Glow plugs fail one at a time or in groups. The success of the launch depends on the number of failed spark plugs. For most engines, glow plugs are a small expense, but replacement can be quite costly if they become stuck and break off. Then the remains will have to be drilled out, which will require dismantling the cylinder head. I have good news for you. Now, if you are planning to buy a used car, or learn more about your car, you no longer need to search for the information you need on the internet. We have collected everything in one place for you, on the website carme.pro. Here you can find out everything about the car, what brakes and at what mileage, any problems with engines, chassis or gearboxes, which trim levels are better not to mess with and how not to lose money buying a used car. You will learn all this on carme.pro. It happens that at low temperatures the starter turns, but the engine does not start. The battery seems to be fine, the starter too, but the engine doesn't even start. The culprit of the failure may be the engine software. The program has a built-in speed threshold below which fuel injection does not occur. The limit can be quite high, for example 900 RPM. If the starter does not develop such a rotation speed, the engine will not start. It is very difficult to guess that the starter is not spinning fast enough. The problem may arise due to the fact that the starter is worn out, the battery is no longer new. The battery might have lasted another two years, but not in this car. Some workshops have a ready-made solution, much more interesting than replacing the battery or starter. They change the factory software settings, lower the threshold, and the problem goes away. Diesel fuel that does not meet official winter standards will not allow you to start the engine in the morning after overnight frosts. If paraffin precipitates, the fuel filter or line will clog and the fuel supply will stop. To avoid trouble, you need to refuel with high-quality winter fuel at proven gas stations. If doubts remain, then it is better to use a special fuel additive and preferably before the onset of frost. A rather trivial problem, but one that precludes further operation, is water accumulated, for example, in a fuel filter. The process of water formation is affected by the quality of fuel, ambient temperature, number of engine starting cycles, etc. Many diesel engines have a special drain plug at the bottom of the fuel filter housing, from which accumulated water must be drained from time to time. If this is not done, the water may freeze and the ice plug will block the fuel supply to the engine. A typical problem that prevents a diesel engine from starting, especially at low temperatures, is low compression. Insufficient compression means that the fuel mixture will not reach a high enough temperature to ignite. Causes First of all, high mileage. If the piston rings or cylinders are worn, a major engine overhaul will be required. The cause may also be incorrectly adjusted valves, 
it is necessary to measure and correct the gap. If the valves hang, then it will be necessary to repair the cylinder head. Sometimes a malfunction occurs due to a burnt-out gasket under the head. Compression problems can be identified at a service center using a fairly simple procedure. To do this, the car must be left in the workshop to cool down. Then the mechanic unscrews the injector and performs a compression test. When installing the injectors in place, it is necessary to use new washers. The more cylinders and the more difficult the access, the higher the cost of the job. Incorrect valve timing may have no symptoms during the summer other than a slight increase in fuel consumption. However, it is enough to lower the ambient temperature and the engine will not start. A similar phenomenon occurs when the timing chain is stretched, or when replacing the timing belt, the mechanic made a mistake by one tooth. It will be difficult to identify the cause without the intervention of a mechanic.